The Coast Guard is urging boaters to prepare for Hurricane Irene. As it moves closer to the coast, you should have a plan to secure your watercraft before the wind and rain arrive. Tell me your side's Art Khan continues our team coverage now with some ways to do just that. At the marina in downtown Portsmouth, boaters like Gary Russell are already putting out extra lines to secure their vessels. You don't want to take any chances. So you come down and flash it down, tie it down. Say a prayer. Hope you come back Monday. You'll still be here. So. Tight lines are good for floating docks like the ones at this marina, but a stationary dock calls for a different approach. You want to keep your boat secure, but you want your lines long enough to allow for the tide to go up and to come down. Forecasters expect the eye of the storm to stay off our coast, but we could still be in for a rough ride this weekend. Even with the storm just giving us a glancing blow, a prolonged northeast wind at maybe 40 to 70 miles per hour is going to cause some surge levels. Uh, maybe up to three feet. Could be a lot of damage. While preparing for Irene's arrival in Hampton Roads, the Coast Guard cautions boaters to be concerned with more than just their vessels mooring. Secure containers with hazardous materials like gasoline tanks. Or anything else that you may have on your boat, any sort of oil or liquids that you wouldn't drink or you wouldn't want to be putting in the water, any sort of pollution. Bottom line, be prepared for anything. I think the North Carolina governor said plan for the worst and hope for the best. Sound advice. Art Khan, 10 on your side. Now if your boat is anchored, be aware of the wind direction and how that will affect your boat's movement.